I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Hey, the IRS sent me an important message letting me know they gave me back some of my money to help restart the economy. But wouldn't it have been more efficient to just, you know, let me keep it in the first place? My favorite line is, what you need to do, you do not need to do anything. So, a government employee got paid to write this, uh, another government employee got paid to print this, uh, another government employee got paid to mail this, all to notify me that I do not need to do anything. <laughs> they even put in red, don't throw it away. But I'm definitely thankful for unintended consequences. How cool is it that the federal government, during an election year, is reminding hardworking Americans across the fruited plain how helpful it would be to our budgets and to the national economy if the federal government would just allow us to keep more of our money. But don't get too excited while your cash is dropping back into your bank account. Liberals in Congress are also planning on dropping all the tax relief we've been enjoying. Wow, I'm really looking forward to getting my new car. And here is your $1,500 cash back incentive. Now, let Thank me you. just total the rest of this up here. The base price plus $1,500 for fabric protection and $3,000 for the undercoating, $5,000 for the pin striping, $1,000 for market adjustment, of course, and $2,000 for a car dealer retirement fund. And but here's what I've been thinking. The economy isn't the only thing that could use a jump start. How about a government stimulus package for marriage? Getting rid of tax penalties for marriage would be a good start, and passing a federal marriage amendment to protect marriage from activists who are working nonstop to redefine it. Or how about a stimulus vote for stalled judicial nominees? Liberals in Congress could drop the Stonewall tactics for a day and let the president's nominees have a fair up or down vote. Come on, you take votes all the time, it's not that hard. Or how about a stimulus package for the preborn? Stop giving $330 million to Planned Parenthood. Shoot, you don't even have to send the money back to us. Just use it for adoption. In fact, I can only think of one thing that never seems to go into recession. Federal government. <laughs>